working to be that we were working to bring about an effective, that is a humane and a progressive version of a basic income to the country. The Community Foundation, we're all about um, enhancing our community and trying to make it a more vibrant community for all of us. So we are a charitable organization, we're a funding organization. What we do is we raise money, hold it in endowments, and then the money is available for granting each every year, um, each year to grant in uh, invest in our community. Today we were pleased to host another one of our speaker series events. We aim to host about four of them a year and we want to engage the community in conversations that matter to us as a community. So an opportunity for people to learn more, discuss, engage, um, all about trying to make our community better. Well today's meeting was to, was to try to do three things. To enable people to learn about the proposal that's been made to test a basic income pilot, a basic income program here in Ontario. Secondly, to learn about a project to improve the way we uh, provide social assistance and other benefits to persons living in poverty. And thirdly, to encourage people to be part of the consultation and the advocacy efforts to get the government to move on both of those issues. For all those who may not share your political affiliation, who will say, well, you know, uh, poor people will spend the money on drugs. They're going to spend the money on tobacco. They're going to spend the money on... I don't know, alcohol, whatever. Actually, the evidence indicates that low-income Canadians, when given liquidity, will spend the money as anybody in this room would. Slightly better place to live, maybe a warmer coat. Well, what we're doing in Kingston in itself to educate people, apart from what we've already done in Kingston, is mainly we are trying to get out there and speak to as many groups as we can possibly speak to, work groups, classes, church groups, um, clubs, uh, what is, you know, speaker series of all kinds. We're just trying to get out there so we can explain the concept and respond to people's questions because there are a lot of questions about basic income. Can you elaborate what ideas you have in terms of trying to phase in an incentive where they can still have their safety net, and work part-time, and, sure. and not have it all clawed back? Yeah, very good question. The discussion paper, uh, which, which is downloadable for those of you who can't sleep, and it'll put you under at no time, with, without any side effects the next morning. But we What's happening right now is that uh, the proposal for the pilot, the basic income pilot, is now out for consultation. There are going to be meetings across the province, including one in January here in Kingston, to get people's feedback to that proposal. 30 years ago I was part of an exercise to reform social assistance and it produced some real reforms and then those all disappeared when a, a subsequent government decided to get rid of them. And this for me is an opportunity to revisit the issues we looked at then in, in the world that now exists and to think about how can we meaningfully affect the level of poverty in this province, bring it down, and how can we assist people to achieve their goals and objectives in life uh, by supporting them both in, in an income way and in a support way going forward. And that's what has attracted me to this. Um, we are currently completing the production with the, the co-production with Kojiko of two half hour programs on basic income, which will be shown several times in the Kojigo viewing area. Well, the documentaries are an effort to bring the word out to thousands of people with um, a broadcasts, two broadcast programs about basic income to spread the word, to give information and to spread the word as broadly as we possibly can in the broadcast area. When you're struggling financially to get by, you don't really want to talk about it. You're embarrassed. There's a shame that goes with poverty. It's a no-brainer. People are poor because they don't have enough money to buy what they need to live decently. On $8 a day, it is very difficult. If you eat once a day, you're very, very lucky. The system is fundamentally unjust that gives all the rewards to a tiny minority. The assumption that it's about sitting on a couch and uh, eating chocolate and watching the soaps is interesting, but it has no basis in fact. Discussing some of the issues, presenting a few people on living on low incomes who talk about what it would mean in their lives and so forth. And you know, the various efforts that are going on are part of the programs and so forth. It may not be, Jamie, about 
let's help the poor because they're decent and we're Christian. It may be about let us serve a stronger, more robust society with stability and democracy and tolerance because we treat everybody with a basic level of respect with which they can live their lives. That may be the argument, in fact. So, so that 